I'll be giving Andy a hand on the farm this morning, so I expect it to be good for Robert. Can I play out? What do you think, son? Well, don't you want to hang out with me and Katie? Do I have to? Oh, that's charming. Go on, then. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Thanks. It can't stop. I'm late for work. Well, you shouldn't spend so long in the bathroom. It takes some work to look this good, you know. To ourselves. What about Victoria? Well, she's off plating doing whatever 11 year old girls do. Yeah, which means she could be back any minute. I very much doubt it. <laughs> well, have you seen her at all? Yeah, she popped in before to get some apples. Well, what for? Well, how do I know? I'm more interested in the fact that Dad and Diana are at work and we have got the place to ourselves. Okay. That's why we've got some time alone. Right. Whatever you say. Ooh. Be a good boy. Stay here. No, if I were you. Was it just me, or did Victoria seem happier this morning? I know. She didn't mention ponies once. I told you a bit of overkill would do the trick. Just like me and Fluff. Yeah, okay, I admit it. You were right. Oh, hang on. What are you doing? Getting that and writing. I said you were right. That doesn't mean I was wrong. Oh, hey, that's good timing. The others are there. What can I get you? Uh, pint, please. Uh, orange juice for me, thank you. Come here. It's thieves, those two. <laughs> hey, old Jack, have you got a minute? I'm going for a pint. Whoa! Is there a problem? Sure, job. <laughs> we think Victoria might have uh, taken Amish. What? Nicked her. Swapped her with our bell for a doll. Where's she going to keep a pony? Uh, you've seen now, then. I think I'd know if she was hiding Amish in the house. Well, let's get that from the horse's mouth, eh? <laughs> Shadrach! He's going. Hello! <laughs> Hello. Come on, Victoria. Did you take Hamish or not? Well, I'll take that as a yes, shall I? Look, you can drop the silent treatment. Bell's already told us. You can't swap a pony for a doll. We won't be cross, love. No. But I'm losing my patience. Now, where is he? Oh, this is ridiculous. Anything could have happened to him. I was looking after him. So you do know where he is? Well? Ah, oh, look, give Denzel a ring. He'll soon put the willies up her. Shadrach! There's no need to call the police. Is there, Victoria? No. <laughs> this is del... I left him here, I promise. If this is some sort of trick, Victoria... No! <laughs> oh! <laughs> She's right, look. I must have slipped his tether. He's probably been hit by a truck. Shadrach! Ah, oh, well, he never did have any road sense. Don't listen to him, love. We'll find him. But we'll give you a hand to look. It's the least we could do. Don't worry. You've heard of homing pigeons, eh? Well, Amish is an homing pony. He'll be back in stable as soon as he's hungry. <laughs> you hope? Hiya. I've been rushed off my feet today. Well, we've had an eventful day ourselves. Why? What's happened? Well, it turns out that Victoria didn't give Belle her doll. She swapped it for Hamish. You're joking? Oh, wish I were. She had him tethered behind the village hall, only he escaped and he's on the loose somewhere. <laughs> I'm glad someone finds it amusing. Sorry. It's just the idea of Hamish on the run. 
How did the Dingles take it? Oh, very well, thankfully. But if anything happens to Hamish, I'll have to sell the karaoke to compensate them. I was looking after him properly. Oh, I'm sure you were. But you can't go taking people's property. You wouldn't let me keep that donkey from Scarborough either. No! This just proves you're not grown up enough to have a pony of your own. Right!